say Cyrus Faith. And now, ladies and gentlemen. See the explosiveness of Schober. Very deep stance, legs loaded, eyes intent looking to land that shot. That's so really going to go ahead and take Stanislav out early in this fight so it doesn't wear on to a three round war of attrition. But Stanislav's smart. He's breaking down the base, backing up, not taking any crazy chances and risks, knowing that I'm better prepared as this fight wears on. It should statistically go into my favor not really engaging too much and too carelessly this early in the round. Ooh. Nice stepping forward left hook followed by a right hand and backed back out to check, you know, didn't fall in love with his work. Some guys sit there and an excellent jab. Spinning back fist there from Vysenko. And surprisingly, though, Stanislav hasn't really attempted any takedown. He's taken this fight on his feet. He's landed the better shot so far. Stiff jab, that left hook coming forward behind the right hand. But you would think that he would want to put uh, Schulber in a grappling match to really start, you know, exhausting his muscles. And look, there's no facet of fighting that tests your conditioning more than just hard grappling. Schrober throwing everything in those overhand rights as well. Oh, a nice explosive combination that oh. catches him. Oh, switches that up, that left hand catching clean as well. The timing of the Senko is excellent. Very good. He paced back on the jab. He was moving in a straight line, for, you know, off the counter from the from shoulder, but fired a nice jab down the middle to stun his offensive work. See him twisting a little bit, maybe fainting the spin there. The Shoba always dangerous. Hard hitter. And like I said, the only loss apart from the Sergei Kandoshko back at ACB 55, which was a split decision, which when we watched it, we felt he won the first fight as well, is, is to Berkamov. He is somebody with a huge amount of talent, and if he could just tap consistency into that as well. Got a real contender here, but Schober will be looking in his hometown to spoil this run. And there we see a nice switch of levels from uh, Vlasenko. Great decision-making skills. He was at the other end of the exchange there. Instead of sitting there and throwing back when he wasn't at 100% and taking a chance of eating even a worse shot, he's changed the pace of this fight, changed the angle of it. And even though right there really couldn't do a lot of damage, it has to be something that Schober has to be now leery of. Now there's one more facet to his charge he has to worry about defending. And the more things you have to think about, the slower you are at reacting to them. Just over a minute left in this first round. This will be the only the second time in Schrober's career he will have ever gone to a second round should he make it there. Great counter left hook there. These combinations as well. He's really setting power in those shots, especially when he backs Schrober up against the cage. Oh, another spinning back fist there. Look, there's nothing that I can think of in fighting that really makes a guy second guess himself. <laughs> than eating a hard shot that stuns you because it brings reality into I could get knocked out. So you really start calculating what you're going to do. Senko driving that takedown. 15 seconds left in this first round. 
And it was the culmination over two and a half rounds for, from Vlasenko with Sergei Honda broke him down that finally opened up that submission. Very impressive start there from Vlasenko, especially on the feet. Like you said, we, watching the last couple of fights back, you thought he would have engaged the wrestling, especially with Shoba coming in on short notice. Uh, but you know what? Again, going back to what you called it, very uh, effective, uh, you know, intelligent game planning, decision skills. He's mixing it up, so he's not becoming predictable. Here you've seen some great combinations coming forward. He's had his moments where he's hurt Shover. He's even taken him off his feet with one of the counter left hooks towards the end of the round, but still initiated those shots. Here is him driving forward with a double, ending up inside the guard. There was the shot that stunned him and caused a lot of damage. When you look at somebody who's com completing and rounding their MMA game, we've seen development in his, his grappling, his decision making on the ground and up in the clinch. But there, his eyes were wide open for those counter shots. He was very calm, composed, control of distance, timing. We're seeing an evolution there from Vlasenko as well. He's constantly improving, and now it's just to make sure all the hard work and pays off by having more consistency here at the ACB to move forward towards the title shot. This is round two underway here. Dominic Shoba in the black and white shorts in the red corner. And Vlasenko, Stanislav Vlasenko in the blue corner with the black and red ACB shorts on. Nice high kick there from Shoba. Oof, overhand right from Shoba, but counted there. Again, another the fourth spinning back fist he's thrown. It's nice to add those sort of shots to your arsenal. Oh, these are, look, look at this. Those spinning attacks and the shots with flair are, are great to add to your arsenal, but you don't want to over rely on them. Saying that, he's re relying on good old just accuracy and power with these shots he's catching Shoba with in these last few exchanges. Uh, Takedown from just pure attrition of just pain. Shoba took a bad shot. Crushed him down to his hips. And this could be it. This could be it. Look at that. This is only the second time Shoba's been into this second round. And Vasenko is putting on it early. Oh, look at this. Stretching him out. Trying to get under the chin there to finish with a choke. And now he's back to the striking. Heard Dean over the action there. Intelligent defense is what I'd be looking for. Oh, this could be it. That's it. There we go. Stanislav Vasenko takes his second win in a row here at ACB and another finish win once again. What a clinical performance from him, showing us more attributes, giving other welterweights in the roster more to worry about when they think about fighting Stanislav Vasenko. So great combinations moving forward, able to keep his feet under him so he can chase you down with power. Really mixed up well tonight taking shots, not over relying on one aspect of his game, so he became predictable. Mayor Dershober had to really worry about a multitude of offensive onslaught by Stanislav, so he could never really feel that he was secure enough to know that, okay, I know where he's going. Here again, you see Stanislav's moving forward, but keeping his chin behind his knees, never overextending. And here, this is the end of it. After some vicious ground and pounds, it will slip in there a naked choke and get the tap. Let's hand it to Sarah's fees to make it official. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, Ernie stops the fight at 128, 128 round, round number two. two. You're winner by tap out due to rear naked choke. Stanislav Blasenko! So there we have it, Stanislav Blasenko takes the win by rear naked choke over the hometown fighter.